incident in a New York City bookstore, and this is for Ann Waldman. I'm sitting behind the cash register in an East Village bookstore on St. Mark's Place near 2nd Avenue, looking at a postcard that's taped to the wall with Ann Waldman, topless. She actually sent that to us. <laughs> It's been there a long time, but I've never actually read the message she wrote on it. So I'm kind of distracted, and I almost don't notice a guy duck into the office where the manager's bike is chained to a desk. I'm alone in the store, and I don't think Ann Waldman will be coming to my rescue. The guy comes out of the office wheeling the bicycle. He must have cut the locks on it. Hey, I shouted him as he approaches the door. That doesn't belong to you. Put it back where you found it. <laughs> He leans the bike against the shelf of books and walks slowly over to where I'm perched on my stool. Gripping the edge of the counter, I look down at him. He's short, stinks of alcohol, his eyes glazed over, but he lashes out lightning fast with a knife that sinks into the top of my right hand. The blade gets stuck in the cartilage. He can't pull it out, so he simply lets go and stands there motionless like a toy whose battery has died. There must be something seriously wrong with me because I suddenly find myself lecturing this neighborhood junkie. <laughs> I could do anything I want to you, I tell him, picking up the club we have under the counter and waving it for emphasis. You're small and drunk and stupid. I could probably even kill you and get away with it. <laughs> but that would be pointless. I yank the knife out of my hand and hand it back to him. Let's get the fuck out of here. He exits the store, slashing some flyers posted near the door as he does so, leaving me and Ann Waldman alone again. Thank you. Woo!